beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. The sun just setting. Terrific matchup. The Seton Hall Pirates take it on the VCU Rams. Feast week is here inside TD Arena. Chris Patola, Jay Alter with you. A terrific field this week from Charleston, and it is wide open. It can really score. Pirates of Seton Hall in blue. They win the tip. DCU, the Rams in white. We are underway in game number three of four. Tip Feast Week is here on ESPN. Nine straight days of wall-to-wall -wall basketball. And a foul called on the open. Just into a, a primary role. He's leading them in rebounding and assists. 26 of 81 after that miss. That's something votes in the AP Top 25 preseason favorites to win the A-10. Good look from Bamisil. He can't connect from three. This is a VCU team that returns a lot of players, but Clark is a new addition, comes over from Clemson. Steals the ball here. Clark, two on two, goes right to the rim. First bucket of the night for the Rams. Guy who played in the Elite Eight last He loves their team. You know, again, they're really old. They start three graduate students, a senior and a junior. And, they, and they're not even playing without Zip Jackson Jr., who just came into the game. And this is his first appearance of the season. Isaiah Coleman knocks. Good start there to get a three from Coleman. Now they're hoping that this Feast Week tournament can be a springboard for Seton Hall. Shaheen Holloway saying, our best basketball is in front of us. But Zeb Jackson, that Tigers team that made the Elite Eight, and now you know, more of a feature role here at VCU. Shulga fouled with the shot clock winding down. He sucks good on the defensive end, just a really a good all-around basketball player. A big boost for this Rams team. When you're on a team like that, Chris, how do you just get going, break out of the slump? You're looking for somebody to be that guy. You know, Chauncey Chauncey Jenkins has been that guy a little bit. You know, but as, as Shaheen Holloway was telling us, he's got a lot of guys in the offseason to the portal. He's now at St. John's. I mean, that was a big loss. Indianapolis to win the NIT. And Coach Holloway said it's in 30 seconds here. It's allowed VCU to go on a 6 nothing run. Ade Wusu knocks down the triple exactly when the Pirates need it. A nice job by Garway. You look at those scores, and it's no surprise they're the number one scoring defense in the country. It's just the style of games that they play. Could tonight be the springboard against a very good VCU team that's receiving votes for the eight falling into a long scoring crowd. It's allowed Seton Hall to take the lead. Duol. Nice pump fake into the lane, hits the runner. And there's no way you... Gets baited. And now Seton Hall on a 7-0 run. Shulga puts an end to it. Max Shulga, big time bucket. What a play. And the turnover, Shulga again. That full court pressure. The teams have got to play three games in four days, but somebody, one team, will leave Charleston with three wins and a really good resume boost. Middleton, he's had a really impressive first half, another. He's halfway down, but it rimmed out. The Jack Clark cans the three on the other end and fires VCU in front on the offensive end. Pull up jumper, knocked down. Dylan Aday Wusu ties it at 15. Those guards coming off of that high. Seton Hall in a half court game. Points have been hard to come by in this first half. 15 apiece, a little more than seven minutes left in it. Coleman down the lane, draws the foul. He actually, he originally committed to play here at the College of Charleston for, for Pat Kelsey. Seton Hall back in front, 16-15. These two teams keep going back and forth. Eight lead changes in this first half. 
Russell fires the three and buries it. Philip Russell. Remember. And that has VCU back in front. Make it nine lead changes for this first half. Pass. Good look. A league bay teed up. Nice pass. Wide open. David Tubek couldn't handle it. Seton Hall stays on possession. Coleman draws another foul. Again, another example. I mean, you all the hustle plays, they play good defense. They just can't get any consistent wants to play. Like, I think they're playing too many guys at this point. Most teams can benefit by Seton Hall, just incredibly disruptive. Look at this. VCU. Again, using that full court pressure. Oh, and it's Max Shoga. He had a poke away early. But he coaches them hard. The springboard for our season. Our best basketball is still in front of us. Duol. Off the Middleton. Stripped away. Zeb Jackson. The steal. And the slam. Force turnovers. Just passing and catching. Foul called. It's third. Sent Seton Hall to the line. And he missed one off a great defensive team, Jose Alvarado and crew. This defensive battle picks up where we left off. Another takeaway. Jackson off to Jennings for two. Chauncey Jenkins back into the game for the Pirates. He sat for the last 12 and a half minutes. A league bay, not a great angle. Couldn't finish it, and then the scene Toomey came crashing in and commits the foul. Boyer leaves it short there. The lead stuck at four. Last made basket came five minutes ago. And yet only down four. Trying to find something right at the end of the first half. Toomey just lost control there. Don't want to miss it. Tomorrow night on ESPN2. Chauncey, Chauncey Jenkins has been shut down for Seton Hall, their leading scorer. So it's you know, it's kind of been patchwork here in the first half for both teams. Jenkins had it there, passed it up for three. It's good. You see, Toomey ties it at 25. Jackson answers for the three. Sam Jackson. In his season debut, Zeb Jackson leads VCU with 10 points of this first half, including that three right before the break to give Ryan. Chauncey Jenkins, leading scorer for the Pirates, sat for 13 minutes in that first half, stepped back, left it short. Good offensive rebound. Isaiah Coleman cashes in on the second chance point. He's played well. Isaiah Coleman, he's been aggressive. He's and Scotty Middleton for three, put too much on it. Good double there by Furman on the post. Shulga right to the rim for two. Max Shulga. Shot clock down to seven. Jack Clark finds Bamasil. Fading away, and that's his first bucket of the night after he missed his first. Bamasil dispossessed there. Seton Hall trying to get something in transition. And it finally rims in the second effort after another contested missed layup. Bamasil transition triple. He's starting to heat up at his alma mater. 
It has not been a good game offensively for the Pirates. They have more turnovers than field goals. Maybe they can get something here in transition. And they do. Garway Duwall finally. And the seal. Catch and shoot. Left it short. John C. Jenkins back into the game. Wow. Count it. Plus the foul. John C. Jenkins. Explosive, consistent scoring because they've lacked it in these first four games. Completes the end one. Shulga trying to create his own look, passes it up. Zeb Jackson lines up the three and buries it. And that's the play inside out. Started with the paint touch from the Rams 40. He's running the point right here. Just the four games, dealing with a broken hand. Still wearing a bit of a brace on it, but he is playing some great basketball. Draws the foul there. Back. Now you got Zip Jackson out there, running the point. Nope. Makes them both from the... John C. Jackson is in the corner, drives baseline. And he draws the foul. But he's been a good fit, and they've desperately needed him. In 60 so far this season, they're going to need number two in blue to really step up. Zone look here for Seton Hall. Very rare. You see the Pirates get out of man to man. Perfect position for the follow two. Let Luke Bamboye there to clean up. Nice, the largest lead of the night for VCU. Seton Hall in the danger zone here with 11 minutes to play. Coleman, contested take, gets it to go. Physical going read each. Jenkins, pull up, pop, missed it. Just rimmed out. Good take. You see, Toomey wins the offensive. Put some possessions alive here, though, in the second half. From Bell. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Michael Bell. He's coming over, making a play, forcing a turnover. Jenkins off the inbound. A big time. Good set off the inbounds. Julga got a good look, just couldn't knock it down. Seton Hall been pushing in transition more than they've done so far this season. But that's been the issue. Percent. On you know, those two one-point losses, it's been the free throw line that Jenkins, he's come alive in this second half. All eight points scored after halftime. Has it here. Into the lane, turns around, hey. and hits. He's come alive. One-point game, Bama Seal at three, and that'll quiet the Seton Hall crowd here in Charleston. Joe Pamasil delivers the triple, missed his first seven shots. He's got eight points in this second half. Makes the first. Jenkins. They don't play for 13 minutes in the first half. You got a little, little bit more legs. Chance for Seton Hall to tie this game at 50. And Coleman misfires. Seton Hall wins it right back with Duol. Off to Coleman. This time, and they've got five ball handlers out there. This is their small lineup with Clark at the five. Seton Hall on a 10 to three run to tie it at 50. Shulga answers on the other end. Tough take. Jenkins. Off to Toomey. Shot clock down to eight. A three from Toomey. First time they have trailed in this second half. Shulga misses the layup. Bamisil flies in to clean up the spill. Bamisil, the hot hand. It continues. Shulga.
this time, he scored eight of VCU's last ten, so you trust him in that moment. Comes up empty. Contested three. Two back. Nothing but the bottom of the net, and it's a one-point game. BCU clinging to a one-point lead, 2.30 to play in this quarterfinal. Foul called. Oh, I mean, that, that was just gamesmanship. Especially in a game like this. Big free throw miss there. We have had 13 lead changes in a Feast Week game that is Gone punch for punch. Made Wusu. Five seconds to shoot. On the move. Tied up. Jump ball. The possession arrows. Have to get something quick here. Fed in. And that's a shot clock violation. Made Wusu actually got a good look, but was way off. Solid if you're Seton Hall. Keep the ball in front of you and don't overhelp. The Pirates in familiar territory. Their two losses in the first four games, both by one point. Can they find a way to get this one over the line? Jackson a three. Missed it. Stephen Hall with an opportunity to take the lead. Chauncey Jenkins scooped to the hoop and he's fouled. Here. And Jenkins misses. And in another tournament setting, we are top. The VCU drive the ball. You're in the bonus. Drive and kick. The three has to come off of a paint touch. Shulga goes to work. There's the drive. And a foul called on the floor. Now, it's not the double bonus. That was Seton Hall's last foul. The pressure on the defense. Makes the first. And Shulga makes them both. Two-point lead for the Rams. They bring that full court pressure that they have brought all night. Chauncey Jenkins has to get a shot here. Number two in blue. Coming around the screens. They don't go to him yet. Now he has it. Goes to work. The drive. Jenkins draws the foul. And will get two free throws. Jenkins, six of seven from the line tonight. Makes the first. Rims in. Ryan Odom has a timeout, deciding not to use it. Both fan bases to their feet. They provided a terrific atmosphere here in Charleston. Shulga drives a double team. Great defense. Prince of League Bay rips it away. Shot clock is off. Seton Hall can hold for the final shot of regulation. Instead, right to the rim. Chauncey Jenkins puts Seton Hall in front. The officials blow, play dead. Shaheen Holloway is in stop late, and it didn't restart in time. So 13 seconds to decide this one in Charleston. VCU down two with the ball. Zeb Jackson, handoff for Philip Russell, trying to get Shulga free. Splits the double team, plays it up and in, and tie it at 61. Shaheen Holloway trying to get a timeout. Time. You see Shaheen Holloway at yeah, mid -court. He's got a call. And this game has had great intensity since the first tip. Now our second tip off sets up overtime. VCU starts with the ball. Joe Bamisil, he's had the hot hand. 13 points in that second half. Misfires from three. 
It's not a good possession. Out of the timeout. Ryan Odom going back with Furman, though. So you got Clark at the four and Furman at the five. And Furman playing with four fouls. Has to be careful. A league bang going right at Furman. Scoreless in the first minute of overtime. To be expected, because defense has dominated in this game. That's a tough take. Chauncey Jenkins finding a way. That battle, Jenkins against Jackson has been wonderful. And Jenkins getting the best of it the last couple minutes here. Jenkins scoreless in the first half, 19 points in the second half. Foul on the floor. Ties it at 60 for Jenkins. Russell playing with four fouls. Goes for the steal. Jenkins gives it up. Dual crossover down the lane, blocked by Clark, out of bounds. It'll stay with Seton Hall. You love the change with Matt. Jenkins gets free. Four seconds to shoot. Has to hurry. Fades away. Hits it. Russell is in his face, and Jenkins delivers. He scored the last nine points for Seton Hall. Jenkins in attack mode, gives it off. Great take, but no finish. Again, Rooster missed it at the rim. Seton Hall wins it back. This is the matchup. You've got Jack Clark on you. Jenkins down the lane. High floater. Missed it, and then Isaiah Coleman failed to clean up the spill. Big break there for VCU. Clark. Got a good look and just missed it. Yeah, good timeout. Shaheen Holloway had three of them. And they get it to number two in blue. Jenkins, we were just talking about him. Good defense. Zeb Jackson denied Jenkins there. Up ahead, Bamazil. No call. And he missed the layup. He was, a minute left in overtime. He was expecting contact. They just pulled the chair on him, and he was off balance. Seton Hall takes the shot clock under 10. Adewusu goes to work. Two back, a three. Got it again! David Tubek, his third three of the night. Pam is still trying to answer. Bat it out to Russell. Clark has to heave it. He misfires. Seton Hall has it. Foul comes in. And the Pirates, 18 seconds away from a massive overtime win. That was a desperate possession. Came into the night just averaging two and a half points per game. He's not even a three-point shooter. It just got up. That rattles out. VCU with a lifeline. They have to hurry here. Under 15 seconds. Shulga in attack mode. Hits it. Two-point game. Ryan Odom uses his final timeout. I mean, on the last possession, VCU, this VCU, you have to deny him the ball. Yeah, right I, I would, in fact. I mean, Bamasil's on the ball. But you almost want to... Yeah, you, you, you know, you almost want to try to deny him, put two guys on Jenkins, force one of these... That rims out. Three missed free throws here. This, it's a one-possession game. And he does. Wonder if two timeouts to use. Ball into Zeb Jackson. 
to Damasil. A clean look. And Seton Hall wins it in overtime. The Pirates come into Charleston and win a thriller against VCU. A thriller almost understates what this game was. I mean, what fight for both teams. Chauncey Jenkins was a star. Seton Hall's defense was really the star.